Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Civ 5. Um, this is the first time I've recorded uh, after starting my new job, really. I've, I've kind of been on it for about a week now, so it's been a week since last time I saw this game. So if I overview anything, I apologise gratefully. But otherwise, yeah, let's crack on. Now, if you remember last uh, time, our settler up here got really, really screwed over when he was going to try and build uh, Avignon. Has been built there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, settle right on Paris's borders. Hopefully it means that if, if, if Paris were to fight us, um, we can draw their troops out into this middle desert bit, which will be easier to kill all their musketeers from. Um, if you remember, we are building army pretty much everywhere that is done now. So we've got knights on the way, we've got more crossbowmen on the way. Paris, I think if we can kill Paris, it sort of doubles the area of, of unopposed desert. If we could build right up to the edge of Bucharest, do you see here? That would be perfect for us. I mean, we've got sugar, we've got marble. And these are all kinds of uh, resources that we haven't actually got yet. Um, we've got gold. Do we have dyes? No, we don't have dyes either. So I think this will be a very good way to expand for us in the long run. And also it'll just give us more influence on the Mediterranean. Um, one thing we do need to watch is we do need to watch our navy. Uh, I'm, I'm just sort of thinking. Uh, oh, we can build... We can build galleasses, okay, so we can build some boats, even if they're not the best. Um, it's, at least it's something. Um, but for now, uh, Kaspar's K for Kaspar, you know what you're going to be doing. Um, yeah, we're going to fight with France eventually. That much is um, sort of, I don't know, a given, I would guess. But it just depends on how quickly we can roll over Paris with their strength 38 and French musketmen. Uh, it may be quite a difficult kill for us, but we must try. We must try anyway. Um, right, crossbows, right, you alert here. Let's press on quickly. You wait, you wait, you wait. Okay, we've now got caravans. Now, this caravan was going to Colombo, wasn't he? Um, which is a very profitable route for us there. Very good, 11 gold per turn, that's bringing in now. Uh, you wait there, good. Mr. Worker. Um, right, what were you up to? You were off, you, you were gonna like go and help that new city, weren't you? Right. Okay. Well, this is floodplains. We may as well build some caspars on the floodplains. Uh, crossbowmen, you wait there for a second. You can wait there too. Yeah, I pressed the wait button, didn't I? No, apparently I did not. Oh well. Uh, open borders. Yep. So do you remember we were getting people to pay us for open borders? I mean, no one is going down in my territory anyway, so I don't particularly care. We don't need to go through Germany's territory at the moment. Oh look, do you see Poland have just randomly built a little uh, cheeky little city underneath Germany. That'll rile them. Um, you can see, look, oh my god, Byzantium has got a ton of population here. And it looks like, I think England had the most population, so we'll have to have a look there. But anyway, our faith selection has run out now. Um, we can no longer build anything with our faith, so we run the risk of actually spending it on great profits instead, which will not be good. We don't want that. Um... Although, actually, great sites are worth quite a lot to us. I mean, we could get culture and gold from them, so... Um, I mean, it could be a possibility that we keep them. I don't know. I don't know. Um, right, workers. Okay, as I said, you just continue to build cast bars everywhere that you can. Uh, settler. Yeah, I think it is going to be a long here. So, one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, we'll settle there, I think. So, you can come to that. Thank you. Um, I didn't mean to select you, I meant to select you, you great prophet. Right, you go to Paris. On your way. Route 2 cancelled. Oh, well, if the, if the route is cancelled then you've done everything you need to do, so Caspar time it is. Um, yeah, just build those Caspars. Great. Now if you remember, we've limited our population on five, on pretty much every one of our cities except Sale, which we kind of forgot about, but never mind. Um, reason being is that we're sort of maxing out local happiness at the moment, uh, where we can. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think actually of what will be our best route. Just, I think maybe just expanding further at this point probably would be the right thing to do. Um, ideally we need more population. We want to get to radio. So we'll, we'll kind of move to radio after that because I think as soon as we get order, we'll be able to exponentially increase the amount of uh, population that we can fit in our um, in our empire, and that will that will massively help us. Uh, yeah, Caspar's good. I mean, I want to prioritise desert hills, really. Nope, nope, not helping. 
Desert Hills are just far better to put cast bars on than anything else. Um, but, yeah, no, I think that's true. Oh, 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 no, you don't. No, you don't. Open borders. No, if you want open borders from me, you'll have to pay for it. There you go. Thank you, Venice. Just keeps the gold coming in for me. Um, Venice up there in the north where England should be on this map. Yeah, now... This time, I'm going to get there before France can get there, which would be quite a nice little change. I mean, really, I kind of wanted to stick it on top of the hill itself, but that will have to do for now. Yeah, there we go. France are not going to be happy that I've settled there. They will probably fight us as soon as they can, but that's okay. We don't mind that, really. Um, right, monuments. Yeah, let's show the queue quickly. Um, here we go. So we'll get a granary going. Market, Colosseum, something like that. That'll do, right? Build the library, and actually, we probably should build a library after that as well. Yeah, like so. Good, good, good. Mr. Worker, what are you up to these days? Oh, he was just on Caspar duty, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't think there's much more for him to do at this precise moment. Um, I'm going to build up. Oh, yeah, build on that wheat field. Why not? Uh, Caspars, lots of Caspars. I'm, I'm remaining in control of my uh, workers, if you remember. I was going to make sure that they didn't do anything stupid. Do, 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 do. What are you doing now? Yeah, because like instead of the trading post, which would give us one gold, we could put a Caspar there that would give us one gold and one food and one production. I mean, there's no real point in letting them do what they want to do. Ah, gems. Mm, no, I don't want that. I'm going to want 60 gold. And then 6 gold per turn. <laughs> no? Fine, 5 gold per turn. That's, that's a bit up front. Yeah, that'll help in case France do decide to declare war on us. We've got a little bit of money just to help us along. Um, hopefully France will send a trade route to us now. Research agreements. Yes, I was I was doing those, wasn't I? Research agreements, wherever we can get one, really, just to help us along. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not doing too badly. We're not doing too badly. Worker. Ah, yes, Caspar on the hill. That's good. That's a really good tower, that one food, three production and one gold. Um, Desert hill again, you wait there. Worker. Um, well, we might as well just keep improving along here for you. For now, oh, crossbow is now stacked. I probably should move a few to the front line. I would imagine you will be needed sooner than I would want. Um, I think we need to decide whether we're going to expand into the desert a little bit more. We'll settle what lands we plead. I'm, I'm very sorry, France, but we are going to settle wherever we want to. Yeah, we'll be friends with Carthage. Why not? Napoleon is plotting against me. Well, that I kind of figured. Let's just take a look here. Soldiers, I'm still in last. But you see, I've only got half what Poland has in there in the lead. So, um, it's not too bad. I mean, tech, I'm still falling behind. But my religion, hopefully, will start to really come into come into its forte now. Um, especially when we get public schools. Right, the Casper. Look, look at that. That's an amazing, amazing tile, that. Um, right, yeah. You do that. You do a little farm farming on that wheat field. I mean, turn that into a six food towel, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, was that my... No, my Pantheon was... Um, I was just trying to think. My Pantheon was, was the desert one, wasn't it? So we're we not getting the extra food from the wheat towel. No, I'm just... Uh, ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, worker up to the new city over here. Thank you. Caspar uh, on that desert hill. Thank you. Right, new one here. Good, good, good. Great profit. Ah, beautiful. Right. Spread your religion to Paris. Knock off that other ugly religion from it. And then I'll move along to our Alines. And then we'll sort of spread the religion over here a little bit. Hopefully it'll mean that my religion will start to spread a little bit north of the north of the sea. Although it looks like confunctionism is, is definitely the leading religion there. Grenoble. Oh no, it's an Egyptian great prophet. Egypt, get lost. 
There you go. Right. Follow my religion. My religion is so much better. Yep. Izora has adopted a religion. That's good. That means we can just purchase in all those buildings really quickly. Purchase in a mask. Purchase in a Bakoda. Great. Yeah, I have a feeling we need to be building settlers far quicker than we are doing. I mean, that is the one policy we don't have, which is typical at the moment. So I'll save up a bit of gold and we'll, we'll buy them with gold, I think. That'll work for now. Um, yeah, Kaspars, that's all good. Ah, Knit. Fabulous, right. You move along. It's the worker, good. Uh, you go and get that gold. Right, that composite can just have a go and have a little sneaky look at France, so we can have a look and see if they are moving any troops towards me. Sorry, Rome, Buenos Aires are my friends, you know? I can't... Would you be interested I can't apologise for that. With England? He says, saying sorry. Uh, gems, yep, seven gold, that's fine. We don't really need any happiness at the moment. We're good on happiness, so bringing in that gold pattern will let us expand a little bit. Dijon, here we go, so they have settled in the middle of the desert. We don't mind that. France, come, they can't pull off desert cities like we can. I mean, it's going to be pretty naff. Um, now, when we, uh, later on, we go to war with France, we are going to be burning pretty much every, every single one of our cities, that we, their cities, that we can get hold of. There's no point keeping anything, really. Um, it, would just, it would just be too much of a happiness burden for us. Right, I'm just going to keep building along that river quickly. Uh, worker. Oh, actually, yeah, you go to there, and I'm going to build a, a road to Tangier. Connect that to the network. Uh, yep, yeah, you build some gold for me. Composites, you come in close. Good, good, good. Great profit. Right, looks like the Egyptian great profit has given up for now. Uh, a knight, a knit. Right, again, move sort of closer over here. Um, let's kind of look over in this direction, see what we can find. Again, if you remember, we're building up gold, and I think, yeah, we will settle along pretty much every river we can get hold of. Are there many more rivers? No, we could stick a, a city down here. That would be, be that would be a good be sort of little D. Yeah, round here. Got the oasis. Got the wheat field. Um, I've got extra gems, have I? Well, I'm going to want seven gold per turn. I'm very sorry. Yeah, Spain was cool with that. She was good with that deal. Byzantium has denounced Greece. Ooh, historical. Um, I think the best thing we can do is to actually go to war with some of France's perimeter cities first. Now, what that would mean is it sort of means that we can pull out Paris's defence. Um, you can see here we're now beginning to claw up the soldiers' tree quite rapidly now because we're, we're catching up with everybody. Um, we, we're arming. I mean, we, we we kind of had a slow start to the game, but now we've got all these cities. We can we can definitely catch up. I'm not worried about that. You wait there. Which is an upgrade these days. Yeah, may as well with you two. Good, good, good. Great profit. Oh, no. Yeah, onto the road. Good. Uh, workers, what are you going to do? Actually, you know what? You can build the road to that. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, knit. Move up to here. We'll go and have a look and see what France is up to. And we can see a lot of the map. We can see Russia is sort of, yeah, penned right in the middle there. Look at that. Not good for them. Worker. Yes. Good. Kaspar's in the new city. That'll help. Uh, and again, route. For whatever reason, it's going to build the road along the river this time. England wants to go to war with Bodicea. Oh, man. Guys, chill. Oh, look at this. Looks like England have taken over a, a, a Russian city or two. St. Petersburg Celts have got one. Russia really did get mobbed at the start of the game, which is unexpected. I'm, I'm so used to seeing, I guess like in real life, Russia just sort of, you know, getting all aggressive and, and, and being very good at military-like things. But um, yeah, they're not, they're not doing well in this game. Last place. Even... <coughs> oh, I apologise. Even below Venice, which is remarkable. Um, right, come down here. We need more workers down on the new front. You can build a road to here. Connect those cities up for me. 
Um, yeah. Cast bars, more cast bars, and more cast bars. Uh, oh, baby. <coughs> oh, dear. I apologize massively. I've got the sneezes today. I don't know why. Um, I'm just, just going to quickly check with my citizen management. Just any level 5 city is avoiding growth. No, it's not. There we go. Like this. Yeah. I'll do for now. Uh, you wait there. Good, good, good. Great profits. They haven't taken back that influence just yet, so that's fine. Hasn't raided the load. It hasn't loaded the road here, but there's definitely a road along here, which is good. Okay, Orleans now follows my religion. I'm beginning to spread down here nicely. Right, you wait here along the border. We've got three crossbows on the border, and we've got knights sort of patrolling this middle bit. Just keeping an eye out for French troops. Just keeping an eye. Uh, no, we're going to refuse some research agreements for now. It would be good for me to hang on to my gold for as long as I can. I just need to think about expanding as much of this desert as I can. Um, keeping my gold for gold maintenance, uh, for troop maintenance, that sort of thing. Another great profit. I mean, ideally I didn't want one of those, but... Um, I'll have to do for now. What am I going to do with my great profit? I've got optics, haven't I? So I could go and start spreading it in the new world, but... Well, I say the new world, the other side of the Mediterranean, that's what I mean. But I don't know if that would be the best thing to do. I'm going to go and settle it on this marsh, I think. Okay, that'll work. Um, worker, good, you've done that. Great, so build a cast bar for me there. Uh, build a quarry for me here, great. Uh, if you remember, I'm getting bonus faith from all of these quarry tiles. Um, if I'm working them anyway. I think from, from somebody else's religion. It must be the most the second most popular religion on the on the board. Um, great profit. Okay, cool. Keep advancing in this direction. Leon will be a good place for us to look after, take over. Yeah, as I say, anywhere with desert hills, anywhere with a river going through it, that's perfect place for us. I mean, look at this. This this strait of desert here, where Lisbon is, that'll be perfect for us. It's just getting ourselves on it in the first place. That's going to be the tricky bit. Um, but there we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, next episode, we will continue to arm ourselves. We're building crossbows, um, you know, pretty much everywhere that we can. I think we're going to have enough uh, troops to go to war with France imminently. So until then, I will see you in a bit. Bye!